The Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, says it will shut down the 30,000 stations operated by its members across the country if the federal government fails to pay the 200 billion naira that is being owed marketers. IPMAN stated that the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, an agency of the federal government, had refused to clear the debt, which had continued to accrue since September 2022. It disclosed this in a communique issued at Abuja by the chairman of IPMAN, Depot Chairman Forum, Yahya Al-Hassan, over the non-payment of marketers' bridging claims. IPMAN controls over 30,000 filling stations in Nigeria. Now, bridging claims are payments made by the government to oil marketers for the transportation of petroleum products loaded from the depots to various states across the country. Joining us live to discuss this issue is Chief Ukadike Chinedu. He is the National Public Relations Officer, Independent Petrol Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN. Thank you, sir, for joining us this afternoon. Yeah, thank you. And good afternoon, uh, Nigerians. We saw this scary um, threat that uh, IPMAN might go on strike well, as it is or shut down at the stations. Are you hoping to carry through with this? Well, uh, 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 yesterday, uh, chairman of uh, IPAN uh, in the whole 21 depots of uh, Nigeria, Convergia in Abuja, then your voice to some of the market has been owned uh, millions of naira from uh, the petroleum product. Uh, which is due to market as uh, for transporting the uh, uh, products from one particular place. You know, in order to collect the product. But you know, in area of that subsidy, uh, petroleum products are no longer equalized. Who is sample with the responsibility? Who will be repaired? PEF, because PEF, a petroleum utilization uh, fund, is an institution uh, that was taking care of uh, this problem, NDPR. So uh, at that point, NDPR, uh, as a certain person, is paying this money. But they are not able to free this money because these are marketers funds. This money are supposed to pay immediately once you capture your, your time. So we will take some few minutes in line with what government has uh, arranged so that this one will be refunded back to you. So monitors borrow this first, we will to issue as far as four to five hundred kilometers to go and get touring products so that they can be able to sell in line with uh, what is it at, uh, at the coastal areas, you know, to provide the petroleum products price that are in the coastal areas. Okay, but how, how far have you gone with negotiating with the government? Has you, has any any formal negotiation been initiated with the government? Yes, yes. Um, yesterday, I have started receiving a lot of uh, some of this money. So I also believe uh, that uh, the communicate that was issued by uh, various the uh, yielding uh, results. So some marketers, some sensible marketers are still receiving uh, for this, uh, some of these claims. I think uh, maybe that was a very, very strong cause of uh, some of these uh, organizations to ensure that that money is being paid. So there's a possibility that this shutdown will not happen? No, no, it's not going to happen. If the payment continues like this, that's a lot of so if the government continues like this, I don't think there is a uh, need hmm. okay. to support Nigerians. Okay, but before we got to the 200 billion naira mark uh, that this debt has, has accrued to, uh, there may be some things that we're lacking. What are these things that we're lacking that you would want the government to address so that we will never get to this point anymore? Yeah, I think we will never get to this point anymore because uh, the issue of equalization now, and uh, since uh, the goal of first subsidy, will government finish paying this money? 
and also uh, our social regulatory authority, the Nigerian DPR has also released over 9,000 as against the backdrop of 1,050 that uh, we were agitating uh, in some previous day. The authority they also informed us that uh, the number is now up to 9,000 spam plus and more is coming. So we're also appealing so that we know that the MNDPR should be able to live properly and ensure that those who are also been paid as a given opportunity. And uh, I also made a press statement on that. Okay. So are we hoping that uh, the fuel scarcity that we were promised by NNPCL that will go from today is going to happen like that? Because there have been blames from here and there. Sometimes NNPC is saying, or the people are saying, uh, marketers are hoarding the fuel. NNPC is saying that they have 1.5 billion uh, liters that can take for 30 days, another 30 days and all that. So where actually is the problem coming from and are we are we hoping for a solution uh, from today as promised by NNPCL? Just finally before we go. Yes, uh, this uh, submission period of 13 days is what's supposed to be our backdrop when there is a lacuna in terms of uh, uh, our petroleum product because you know that Nigeria is heavily dependent on uh, imported products. So within that uh, period of uh, transaction logistics of the first coming from wherever else they were being moved into Nigeria. We'll be able to sustain Nigeria pending when the uh, ships are up, mm. arrive and the distribution has, uh, has taken place. I uh, will reassure Nigeria that we need to serve. No Nigerian is ready to help with profit, profit rented. I will place our business in on you will remember we will have other by the tabs, cash, okay, stands of peace in the Philippines. You will watch some risk and the commuters who they believe also and filling stations from consumers and customers. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, um, Dr. Okadi Chinedu. Uh, Dr. Chinedu is the um, uh, National Publicity Secretary or Public Relations Officer of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN. And he was talking to us about the scare that IPMAN might uh, shut down all their filling stations and uh, plunge Nigeria into even worse uh, crisis regarding oil.